Did you know that our life-giving sun could potentially be our greatest threat? It's a startling thought, isn't it? We often think of the sun as a benevolent force warming our planet and providing the energy needed for life to flourish. But beneath its radiant surface lies a potential for destruction that could rival any cosmic disaster we've ever imagined. The sun, you see, isn't just a static ball of fire in the sky. It's a dynamic, ever-changing powerhouse of energy. Sometimes it erupts in massive explosions that hurl solar material into space at mind-boggling speeds. These eruptions, known as coronal mass ejections, CMEs, are like cosmic cannonballs fired from the sun's surface. And sometimes their trajectory brings them right to our cosmic doorstep, Earth. While our atmosphere does shield us from many of the sun's harmful effects, a powerful enough CME could overwhelm these natural defenses. Let's dive a little deeper into what exactly a coronal mass ejection is. Imagine the sun as a giant pressure cooker. When that happens, boom, a massive eruption occurs, ejecting billions of tons of solar material into space. A typical CME can contain a billion tons of matter and travel at speeds of several million miles per hour. The energy involved in these events is staggering. A large CME can release as much energy as a billion hydrogen bombs. But what makes CMEs truly dangerous isn't just their size or speed, it's the fact that they're essentially massive clouds of electrically charged particles. So what happens when one of these solar behemoths reaches Earth? Well, it's not like a physical impact you'd see in a disaster movie. Instead, the effects are more subtle, but potentially just as devastating. When a CME hits Earth, it essentially slams into our planet's magnetic field. This collision can cause the magnetic field to fluctuate wildly. These fluctuations can induce powerful electrical currents in long conductors like power lines, pipelines, and railway tracks. Imagine sudden power surges coursing through our electrical grid, overloading transformers and potentially causing widespread blackouts. The charged particles from a CME can also interfere with radio communications and GPS signals. In a world where we rely on these technologies for everything from navigation to emergency services, such disruptions could have far-reaching consequences. And let's not forget about our satellites. These orbital sentinels of our modern age are particularly vulnerable to the effects of CMEs. You might be thinking, this all sounds pretty scary, but surely it's just theoretical, right? Wrong. We've already had several close encounters with powerful CMEs, and they've given us a taste of what could happen. One of the most famous incidents occurred in 1859, known as the Carrington Event. A massive solar storm hit Earth, causing auroras visible as far south as Cuba and Hawaii. Telegraph systems all over Europe and North America failed, with some operators reporting sparks flying from their equipment. Fast forward to March 1989. A powerful CME struck Earth, causing a severe geomagnetic storm. The entire province of Quebec, Canada lost power for nine hours. More recently, in July 2012, we had a very close call. Section 5. The Technological Tightrope Our increasing reliance on technology has created a double-edged sword when it comes to CMEs. On one hand, our advanced systems allow us to detect and predict these solar events better than ever before. On the other hand, our interconnected, electricity-dependent world is more vulnerable than ever to their effects. Almost every aspect of our modern lives depends on electricity and electronic systems. One of the biggest concerns is our power grid. The long-distance power transmission lines that crisscross our countries act like giant antennas for the electromagnetic pulses generated by CMEs. The induced currents can overload transformers, leading to widespread blackouts. A prolonged power outage could disrupt water treatment facilities, refrigeration for food and medicines, fuel pumps at gas stations, and countless other critical systems. It's a cascading effect that could quickly turn a technological inconvenience into a humanitarian crisis. Section 6. Communication Breakdown in the Digital Age In our hyper-connected world, communication is king, but a powerful CME could throw a major wrench into our communication systems. During a geomagnetic storm caused by a CME, the ionosphere can become disturbed, disrupting radio communications. This doesn't just affect your local radio station, it can impact everything from emergency services communications to air traffic control. Satellite communications are even more vulnerable. The high energy particles from a CME can damage satellite electronics, potentially knocking out GPS systems, weather forecasting, and even television broadcasts. In a worst case scenario, we could see significant disruptions to international internet connectivity, potentially isolating entire countries or continents from the global network. Section 7. 
everyday life disrupted. Let's bring this down to a personal level. Imagine waking up one morning to find that your smartphone doesn't work. Your Wi-Fi is down. You can't check your email, your social media, or even the news to figure out what's going on. You try to call your family, but the phone lines are jammed. You decide to drive to work, but the traffic lights are out, causing chaos on the roads. When you finally get to work, you find that the computers are down. Credit card machines aren't working, so businesses can only accept cash, if they're open at all. This isn't science fiction. It's a potential reality if a powerful enough CME were to strike Earth unprepared. Section 8 Shielding Ourselves Current Preventive Measures Now before you start stockpiling canned goods and building a Faraday cage around your house, let's talk about what's being done to protect us from these solar threats. The good news is that scientists and engineers are well aware of the risks and are working on various strategies to mitigate them. One of the most important tools we have is early warning systems. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory and other space-based instruments constantly monitor the sun for signs of CMEs. When one is detected, they can estimate its size, speed, and trajectory. With enough warning, typically 15 to 60 minutes before a CME reaches Earth, power companies can take protective measures. It's a constant game of cosmic cat and mouse, with our technology racing to keep up with the sun's unpredictable behavior. Section 9. Future Proofing Against Solar Storms Looking to the future, there are several promising avenues for improving our resilience against CMEs. One approach is to develop more robust infrastructure. This could involve installing surge protectors on power grids, designing satellites with better radiation shielding, or creating backup systems that can quickly take over if primary systems fail. Another area of research focuses on improving our prediction capabilities. The more accurately we can forecast CMEs, the better we can prepare for them. Scientists are working on advanced computer models that can simulate solar behavior and predict eruptions before they happen. Some researchers are even exploring the possibility of using artificial intelligence to detect subtle patterns in solar data that humans might miss. On a more practical level, there's a push to create international protocols for responding to severe space weather events. As Section 10, Reflections on Our Stellar Neighbor. As we've explored the potential threats posed by our sun, it's natural to feel a mix of awe and concern. The same star that makes life on Earth possible also has the power to severely disrupt our modern way of life. But rather than fear, perhaps we should view this as a challenge and an opportunity. The threat of CMEs pushes us to innovate, to create more resilient systems, and to better understand our solar environment. It reminds us of the importance of scientific research and the need for global cooperation in the face of natural hazards. While our advanced systems make us vulnerable in new ways, they also give us the tools to predict and mitigate these threats. The key is to use our technology wisely, always mindful of potential vulnerabilities. The sun, in all its power and unpredictability, serves as a constant reminder of the delicate balance that allows life to thrive on our small blue planet.